up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2010 bmw x6 m edition 4.4 liter v8 charcoal gray on the outside with beautiful red leather interior with a factory power moonroof factory navigation with color backup camera factory dvd player front and rear parking sensors heated six heated seats active by xenons power tailgate and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. And that's a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. I'm going to finish going around the vehicle so you can see that there's no existing damage at all. No dents, no dings, no major scratches or touch-ups of any kind. Got the beautiful uh, red brake calipers. Let's come around here. The reason I got it running is so that I can show you the uh, DVD player that is on right now. All right, right in the back of the center console. This is a four seater, two in the front and two in the rear. And they all have over the shoulder belts and they all have all um, curtain side airbags. The front door panels are red on the bottom with black on the top and a carbon fiber strip over here. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, power mirrors, automatic headlights that come out of sunset and come off the sunrise, fog lights, got a driver's side power seat, power recliner, lumbar support, and side skirt support, and you also got memory seats for up to two drivers. Got the curtain side airbags. All right, and uh, before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts tears or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. You also got a power tilt wheel. And it's also telescopic, meaning you can make it go out toward you or make it push it away from you as I'm doing now. In the back of the steering wheel, you got these tabs here. This is for your manual tap shifting. This one here has a minus on here to show you for, um, it's for downshifting. The one with a plus is it for upshifting. What you simply do is you tap on them like this. And uh, when, if you're in manual mode, that would make the transmission shift. All right, it's only got 54,000 miles. Let's go ahead and turn on the AC. I'll put it nice and low so you can hear me talk. Let's start off by opening up the moonroof. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but also has this hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. All right. And it's a one touch, you don't have to hold the switch, as you can see. And we'll leave it open for the duration of the video. All right. If we put the vehicle in reverse, let me do it with my right hand better. Okay. You got your color backup camera, and that along with the front and rear parking sensor should help you avoid any accidents when backing up or parking the vehicle park now okay and then we'll go back to um okay the vehicle has 54,177 miles the car is running right now keep an eye on the tachometer I'm gonna rev the engine 4.4 liter V8 and the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and uh, idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on no airbag light no service engine soon no maintenance due nothing like that the only light that you have right above the parking light there is the uh, fuel light because we're low on fuel Okay, and uh, up here you got your uh, daytime driving lights. That's a that green little light over there. And this one here is for the seat belt, the red one there, because I'm not wearing my seat belt to shoot a video. Okay, um, you can control everything from this little wheel here. You press menu and you choose what your option is. For example, I'm going to go ahead and press on uh, navigation up here. And it takes you to the navigation screen. And you can also split the screen here. For example, you can put, let's say, your stereo over here and then put your navigation over here. I got them both in navigation right now. All right, um, uh, over here is your power tailgate switch. This is your descent control. All right, um, this is to deactivate your uh, parking sensors, and this is for your traction control. All right, uh, you get dual climate control. As you can see right now, I got both sides of 60, 
and I just went ahead and put the passenger side at 71 and all that really does is makes the AC vents on the right hand side of the vehicle blow at 71 while the ones on the left hand side will blow at 60 or whatever it is you set it to right um let's go ahead and put on some music really quick here so let's press your uh, radio and now you can see the split screen here we got the navigation still on this side but this be a uh, split screen over here and let's go down to let's say 97.3 here and let's put up the volume by the way you can do the volume right from the string wheel here here a little quicker all right and you guys so you got your, your volume controls here this is for your uh, Bluetooth this is for your voice commands over here you got a heated steering wheel and you can control the, your CD changer and also your preset stations and your memories over here again it's the M edition it says Emma everywhere here here and of course the big deal is you got to have the 4.4 um, V8 you can put M's anywhere you want Although you can't really put them in there in the dashboard, but anyway, this is a true ammunition. All right, uh, you got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up here in the center that senses bright lights. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. On the upper right hand corner, you got a compass that lets us know the point of heading in the east direction. Below the um, the um, the rear view mirror, I'm sorry, a little uh, brain freeze there. Uh, you got your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community all right uh this is a push button start um you don't really have to take the key to, uh, uh, out of your pocket to get a vehicle started all you got to do is come in the vehicle step on the brake and hit the push button start to turn it off you just press it once you don't have to step on the brake to take uh to turn on, turn off the vehicle below here if you slide this back you get cup holders and here's your ashtray and this ashtray doesn't even look like it's been used okay no burn holes anywhere no order of smoke whatsoever. Got an electronic parking brake to engage the brake. Uh, the parking brake, you just simply pull up here. To disengage, you step on the brake and push down on it. Okay. To go into manual shifting mode, it's very simple. Once you're in drive, you want to shift the lever over to the left, and then now you see MS, meaning manual shift. So now you can control the shifting by tabbing over here. Okay. Or you can downshift on this side over here. If that does not interest you or you're done shifting manually, you push the lever back over to the right and you're in the back in uh, normal driving mode, okay? Alright, um, you got a glove box up in the top here, press it over here. By the way, this is the same car uh, carbon um, fiber type trimming that you see on the door panels. And it goes all around the vehicle, looks really sharp. To open it up, you press here. And to close, you simply squeeze here. And that's it. This panel with the passing and seating area. The interior is in remarkable, remarkable condition. No stress marks, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no um, no scratches from like jeans or anything like that. Just in really, really nice shape. Up in the top here, you got your uh, map lights, and this is your um, uh, your switch for the power sunroof that I showed you earlier. Vanity mirrors here with lighting. When you slide the little door open, this uh, light turns on. All right. Let's pan over the dashboard now so you can see it's in spotless condition. I don't know if you can see it. It does have, well, you see that opening over there. That is your heads up display. It's hard to see uh, because we're doing the, during the, this video during the day, but right now it's showing zero speed there. You can't really see it on the video. I think we took a photo of it here. It's much easier to see uh, on the photo than it is on the video, but it does have heads up display. All right, so let's finish panning over the dashboard now. After that, we'll move on to the passenger section of the vehicle and the cargo area. All right, uh, you got storage here where you rest your elbow. You got two tier storage. And down there, you got a USB and auxiliary port as well as another uh, uh, charging port. All right, uh, let's go ahead and turn off the vehicle. So we turn it off by pressing here simply. All right, now we're going to move on to the um, uh, rear row section. Again, this is only a four seater. All right, the rear door panels are the same as in the front. Red and uh, black up in the top here with a silver accent. It does have manual shades. You pull up in these shades, there's anchors here and here. And I'll show you how it's done. Pull up here, and then you uh, engage them in those anchors, and that shades the back rear portion of the vehicle. Now this vehicle is also equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. 
push that little lever down, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just do the opposite, and this handle will start working again. All right, so um, we got also curtain side airbags back here. A little hard to see here because it's kind of dark back here, and this seat will fold forward. Okay, to go into cargo mode by simply squeezing here and they're independent from each other. It's what we call a 60-40 seat. You get 60% on this side and only 40% on that side over there. Um, you also got back here storage or cup holders. Okay, another cigarette lighter. And you got a little storage here. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as an armrest. And you do have access to the uh, cargo area. Pulling in this handle here and pulling that over there. Okay. All right, uh, let me see if I can get in here real quick. All right, so there's your DVD. And this DVD can, put, can be pushed down and folded out of the way if you're not using it. You do also have AC vents here for the um, uh, middle row passengers. Well, I should say rear row because there's no third row in this vehicle. And you do have independent climate control. You, on the driver's side here where I'm sitting, you could control the temperature here. And on the passenger side over here, and you can these uh, rear seats are also, let me get the camera a little closer. They're also heated, okay? And you can control the fan speed there as well. You can also control the, um, the DVD back here. And you have also auxiliary ports um, for your headphones down there and cigarette light adapters on each side for the chargers. And you also get vanity lights. They're over here. So you can see, or they're not really vanity lights. They're like um, courtesy lights so you can see when you're coming in the vehicle at night where you're stepping. All right. Again, Got the ammunition emblems all everywhere, even there. By the way, we got the factory floor mats on the vehicle here, beneath these uh, paper mats. Okay, and you got the front and rear, not just the front. All right. Uh, by the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed anywhere. They're nice and clear. These are the parking sensors I was telling you about. There are two on each side of the bumper, and you got some more on the front bumper as well. Right rear tail light perfect shape. The rear glass is also has the uh, window defogger to the frosty rear glass. To open up the tailgate, squeeze here. Clearly the car has to be unlocked for that. Okay, this is your cargo area. Down in here you got storage and you got your tools and stuff here and then you also, if you live in a state that has a, uh, that requires a front license plate, we got one in here. In the state of Florida we don't need that. So uh, to close this down you simply just push down on it. And this cargo cover can be uh, flipped over and got in another way if you need to put something larger over here. But this is to, uh, again, to uh, keep your valuables uh, out, of, out of sight. To close the tailgate, we simply press here. You can do it from the remote control as well, by the way. All right. Come around to the passenger side. Right with your door panel, same way, perfect shape. Give you another look at the interior from a different angle. You do have anchors for your baby car seats. You can, uh, you have one, you have one or two anchors on each side, so you can put your baby car seat on either side. Give you another look at the headliner. You got map lights for the rear row passengers here. Beautiful uh, charcoal gray and red uh, color combination. Really, really sharp when you open up the doors. And your dashboard and door panels as well. You got power seat, power recliner, lumbar support, and side skirt support on the passenger side, not just the driver's side. All right, before we conclude this video, we'd like to talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credits. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you'll see a tab up at the top that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.